Well, and I'm so glad that you are with us this morning. We have a very special guest who will be with us by the name of Mr. Umar Johnson, better known as Dr. Umar Johnson. I just wanted to remind everyone what Stand Up Now is all about. Stand Up Now is an organization about integrity, informing, educating. Stand up now. Think about that. Stand up now for what is right. Stand up now for truth. Stand up now. And we all must stand up now. I do believe that we do have Umar Johnson on the line. Good morning. Good morning. How are you? All is well. Thanks for having me. Thank you so much for joining us. I really appreciate you and LaDonna, so make sure to tell LaDonna, and I hope she's listening, that we thank you. Dr. Umar, tell us a little bit about who it is that you are, for those of us who Man, don't know. Certainly. I'm Dr. Umar Johnson. I'm a certified school psychologist and certified school principal. I'm in private practice here in Pennsylvania, Philadelphia, Pennsylvania where I evaluate children for special education, disability, determination. I work with charter schools, public schools, superintendents, principals, special ed attorney advocate groups. I'm founder of my very own advocate group, the National Independent Black Parent Association. I am a blood relative of the great Frederick Douglass. I am former minister of education of Marcus Garvey's movement, the Universal Negro Improvement Association. And I am author of the book, Psychoacademic Holocaust, Special Education and ADHD Wars Against Black Boys, which is the only book ever written by a black school psychologist specifically to black parents with detailed strategies on how they can effectively advocate for their children in public and charter schools. Wow, that's a whole, that's a mouthful. And I'll tell you that I've been listening to you for a very long time. And I want to say that you are smart. What is it on, on uh, uh, what's that movie? You is smart, you is intelligent, and you are loved here. But before we go on with the show, Dr. Umar, I don't know how much research you've done on me, but every one that I have on my show, I try my very best to do as much research on them as I can. And speaking of you, and you're an incredible person. We have incredible people throughout our country at Black folks are are just some of the most smart, if not the smartest people I know. But when I did my research, Dr. Umar, I did not find any college that you attended. What college did you attend to get your doctorate degree and what year? Uh, Sure, I'll answer that question. But let me first say this. Uh, There is no law that requires anyone's degree to be published online. So you may not my information online, but you may not see the information for a lot of scholars online. I earned my undergraduate degree in psychology and political science from the Millersville University of for, Pennsylvania. What's the I name? What's the name of Millersville, it? Millersville, Millersville University of Pennsylvania. I earned my school psychology degree also from Millersville University, and I earned my master's degree from Lehigh University in educational leadership. And I earned my sixth degree, my fifth and sixth, a master's and doctorate in clinical psychology from the Philadelphia College of Osteopathic Medicine. Six degrees in all, not that that should matter because it is my work that counts, not my education, but that is the education. All right. And under the name of Umar Johnson, for those of us who want to check, I, you know, let me just say this. I've been dealing with some some things over the weekend. and. I don't want, and there's been a lot of questions presented to me. So, of course, when, when, when we have someone as it distinguished as you, I know that you want our people to be um, involved and not only involved, but to do their research. Would you agree? I don't have a problem with that. Uh, my, my proof is in my put. <laughs> it's not my degrees that make Dr. Umar Johnson. It's the work that I've done servicing our parents and children for the past. And we appreciate that, Dr. Johnson. But still, we want to encourage our people, even when it comes to voting, to do their part. And that is to research those who are coming before us and talking with us. Do you agree with that? 
I would agree partially. I would say the best way to learn somebody is to interact with them. And I encourage all your parents to come out, learn who Dr. Umar Johnson is, but more importantly, get Dr. Umar Johnson's information. Uh, there's a lot of people in our community who don't have my credentials who receive far less criticism than I do. But yet and still, I would encourage them to come out, get the information. I'm one of the few black male school psychologists in this country and one of the even fewer black males who are going to teach them how to fight this system so they can protect their children from special education, unnecessary placement, a juvenile placement, ADHD, psychiatric medication, expulsion. I can teach them how to read their child's psychological evaluations. I can teach them how to get their child an approved private school placement at district expense if they find that the school is not properly educating their children. So I come with a repertoire of experience and history of working with people who uh, don't question who I am and what my degrees are. Tell us where the Shrine of the Black Madonna is. You're breaking up, Doctor. 7625 Linwood Street. 7625 Linwood Street. This is Shrine of the Black Madonna, uh, Shrine Number One. So this is actually the original shrine from where the philosophy and ideology of Black Christian nationalism was created. And of course, I will be at the shrine in Atlanta and the Shrine of the Black Madonna in Houston four days prior. Uh, this coming Saturday. You will be at Big Brothers, Big Sisters in Flint, Michigan. What is the address there? And then give us the date again, please. Okay. I don't know the address, but if anyone needs the contact information, they can email me for the contact information so they can contact Big Brothers and Big Sisters if they're interested in getting a ticket. And my email address is Dr. Umar Johnson at yahoo.com. D-R- U-M-A-R Johnson at yahoo.com. They can also email me through the website, drumarjohnson.com. I will be doing a full free seminar for the entire black community in Flint, Michigan, on the psychoacademic war against black boys and what they can do to fight back. You know what, Dr. Umar, you don't skip a beat. All the questions I was asking you, you did not skip a beat, not one time. I admire you, but then I'm going to go right back. To my question. Sure. And when you said in part it matters uh, if we if we verify and, and uh, research, what did you mean by that? I meant that anyone can make themselves look like something and not online. When we talk about research, we're largely talking about Internet searching and Google. That's what we're talking about. And so in doing that, again, anyone can present themselves as something they're not. How often have we read about people online and then met them, and they were not half of what they lived up to? So I can clearly uh, put forth a false notion of who Dr. Umar Johnson is beyond the degree, because I know people who don't have the degree who have more expertise than people with them. So to me, that really doesn't mean much um, because I'm in that sphere and in that social professional setting. So for me, the best way to learn somebody is to learn them face-to-face, ask them the questions, get in their person. As human beings, and you know this, being a student of spirit yourself, we're very vibrational individuals. So you can learn more from the vibration of a person than you ever could from their bio or credentials. I wish that was totally true because I have had people look me directly in the face and lie at the same time. Uh, both ways. You know, so so I always encourage people to research. And by the way, the research that I do uh, is not just online, but I encourage people to pick up the phone, use uh, use uh, the good old pen and paper, make phone call and uh, get certified records if necessary. And that can be found. I went to uh, and, and I went to the Pennsylvania state of Pennsylvania to look up yours. And I'm not trying to challenge you, doctor. Really, I'm not. I just want our people to not only listen to a and and hear from a man who is uh, speaking truth and speaking truth to our people. But I also want them to be cognitive and smart enough to do your own research. So anyway, when I went to the state of Pennsylvania where you you practice, 
the state of Pennsylvania, there was nothing under the name Umar Johnson. So what name is your degrees is your degree under? Your certified uh, psychologist degree. Hello. Yes. Dr. Umar. Yes, ma'am. Can you hear me? I can hear you now. Okay. I was asking you. No, I heard the question. Let me answer you. Um, when you earn a doctorate degree in any in psychology, the state uh, bureau of psychology, the state board of psychology, does not keep a listing of everyone with a doctorate. They don't keep a listing at all of anyone with a doctorate. The state board of psychology keeps a list of individuals who have earned their license in psychology. Do you have a license? I have my doctorate, yes, ma'am. They're licensed and they're licensed only. I have my doctorate in clinical psychology. I am certified as a school psychologist. Your certification does not come from the state board. Your certification comes from the State Department of Education. The only person you have an adoption is the school I graduate because the State Board of Psychology does not keep those records, nor are they in those records. They keep a record purely of those who are licensed. I do not hold a license. And the reason I do not hold a license is because my expertise is in school psychology, in which I am certified. That's where I spend 95% of my time. I do conduct clinical evaluations. And since I'm not licensed, if I conduct a clinical evaluation, that means I have to get a licensed psychologist to sign off on my evaluation for clinical work. For psychoeducational work, I don't need anybody to sign off because I am certified. The problem is when people are not in a particular field, they don't understand the regulations of the field. They don't understand the different areas of the field. And they'll go looking for something that they know nothing about and end up drawing false conclusions about the person they're researching. And see, that's just the that's just the point. People have a right to look up who is going inside of their minds. People have a right to know what type of doctor, be it medical or psychological, they have a right to know who those people are. And so going back to the question, un, for your certified psychology degree, what name can we find it under? You get a psychology degree. You get a degree from an institution. Okay. As I said again, my certification comes from the State Department of Education, as I said a moment ago. Dr. Umar, why is it so hard for you just to answer the question? Because I answered your question, and I think it's a ridiculous waste of time that we're worrying about where I got my degrees from instead of educating your parents on the law. We want to educate our people. That is very true, Dr. Umar. You're in a whole show on my degree. Uh, well, but you have, it, it didn't degree. have to take that, Dr. That's Umar. For 20 years, ma'am. Dr. I'm Umar, listen. Not new for this. You, and, I, and I, I don't mean to bring age up, but you're old enough to be my son. Okay? And you are a smart, intelligent man. But do you know how many other people out here are just as smart and as intelligent? We deal with people all the time who give us a lot of this and that. And we, as people, don't check things out. I don't I understand. Think, I understand. I think the best way to investigate Dr. Umar Johnson, I think this is the best way. After you found out I had my degree, since that matters so much to some people. But the best way to investigate me is to put out a calling to any parent that have worked with Dr. U has Dr. Umar ever helped you with your I'm child? sure you have, Dr. Umar, I, I, without a doubt. Again, I'm going to go back to the question. It's on the work. Uh, you, your work is fantastic. You still have not answered the question, Dr. Umar. Uh, what is your question? My question is, on your certified psychologist degree, what there is name no is there? certified degree. I just told you. Oh, you don't have a certified degree. Phillipsville University, Lehigh University, and the Philadelphia College of Osteopathic Medicine. I am certified through the Department of Education. And when I call those places, what name can I give them so that they can pull your name up? I just told 
You know what? Is it Umar Johnson? What? Obviously, that's who you're in it. Okay, okay. That's all I was Are asking. Are you talking to Dr. Umar Johnson? Oh, Lord. My goodness. You know, I wish that we could. The problem. My, my, not my degree. I didn't know this was going to be an interrogation on my edge. I'm not trying to interrogate you. I am trying to educate. I all your questions. Now, you can go and do your research. Okay. I'm giving you everything you need. Now, uh, you can go hunt. You got Miller's. Why do you say it like that? You have Why do you say that like that? Hunt. Do you know that there are thousands of people who are listening to us? I'll tell you why. And I'm glad they're listening because I want them to understand that it bothers me as the foremost advocate and educator and expert in the area of mental health for our children in this country as it relates to the public school system, fighting as much as I fight for as long as I fought for as free as I fought to have to get questions from my own people about who I am when I am not new to this. I've been doing this for 20 years. I have been an expert witness in major lawsuits against school districts. I have worked with lawyers from California to New York City. I have saved thousands of children. I have worked with prisons across the country, school districts across the country, and I've saved countless black children. And yet and still, I got to come on the radio show and talk about my degrees as opposed to what we can do to help our people. We could have been talking about the National Independent Black Parent Association, which we want to get organized in Detroit and Michigan so we can help our parents fight against racism. We're going to have a special ed committee, a school finance committee, a school discipline committee, a homeschool committee, a parent advocacy committee, and a finance committee so we can educate, investigate, and advocate for our parents. Every Tuesday morning, I host a free black parent teleconference. Every Tuesday. We just had it this morning where any parent in America can call Dr. Umar Johnson, any black parent, because that's my focus. They can call Dr. Umar Johnson, ask any question they have, and get free answers. I do that every Tuesday morning for free, and I've been doing it for quite some time now. Give, give us the information on that so that parents can call every Tuesday. Yes, ma'am. It's every Tuesday from 6 a.m. until 8 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. But we do stay on the line until every question has been answered by every parent. The only time answered for every parent, the only time I hang up the call before we get to all answers and questions is if I have an emergency or a meeting. Other than that, I stay on until every parent gets the help they need because they need that. Our parents don't have nobody they can turn to. When they get a psych evaluation, they don't have nobody who's going to help them review that for free. When somebody wants to put their child on medicine and tell them they can't come back to school unless they're on psychiatric medicine, our parents don't know that the school cannot demand that they put their children on education. They don't know they have a right to say no to an evaluation. They don't understand that if their child is in special ed, they should only be suspended for 10 total days out the whole school year. Educational law is a very big area. And unfortunately, it is an area of the law in which we find black parents to be largely ignorant. And that's why my work is so valuable, because I teach them their rights and I teach them in a way that no one else in this country is teaching them. What phone number do they call every Tuesday from 6 to 8? Morning call, because I don't know it. 857-857-232-232-0158. And I repeat it, 857 232-0158. Two three two zero one five eight, and there's an access code. That is access code is eight seven zero eight six four pound eight seven zero eight six four pound. Every Tuesday morning, six a.m. until nine a.m. at that number, which is a free number. And of course, we want them to come out and sign up for the Parent Association Wednesday at the Shrine of the Black Madonna. Parent Association sign up on Wednesday from what time to what time, Dr. Umar? The doors will open up at 4. The doors will open up at 4 o'clock at the Shrine of the Black Madonna. My presentation will be from 6 p.m. until 9 p.m. And I will have copies of my most important book, Psychoacademic Holocaust, which is a must-read for black parents. If they read that book, they will be in a very good position to protect their child from any type of violation 
Against Their Child's Rights by the School. Give the name of that book again, Dr. Umar. Psychoacademic, T-S-Y-C-H-O hyphen, Psychoacademic Holocaust, The Special Education and ADHD Wars Against Black Boys. And speaking, and, of, have, and speaking of special education, what a lot of parents don't know is that the monies, a lot of the monies in special education in the city of Detroit has been transferred to other places. Our children well, are not getting, in the city of Detroit, they are not getting the type of education that they so and, 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 much deserve. And, and that's why we need the parent association. Yeah. That's exactly why we need it. That's exactly why we need yep. it. And if any parent listening would like to help be an organizer, we want them all to participate. But if they would like to be an organizer, to play a leading role in starting the Detroit chapter, please send me an email, Dr. Umar Johnson at yahoo.com, so I know that you're someone who doesn't mind doing the groundwork of getting out, recruiting parents, doing the research, and educating and advocating for the parents. So I'm looking for those organizers and leaders because March 25th through March 27th, This is a very important date. I will be hosting the first, the very first organizing chapter, excuse me, organizing conference for new chapters of the National Independent Black Parent Association. That will be on Saturday. I haven't come up with a location yet, but if you're interested in being a part of that chapter, a leader in the chapter, you will definitely need to come there and get the necessary training that I'm going to give because we have to make sure we are absolutely clear on what the law is, how to advocate for our parents, what to teach them to do, what to train them not to do. This is the first time black parents have been organized on a national scale to fight against educational racism. And so we're very proud of this new movement, and we need people to help us. Black people suffer, as you know, because of this organization. If we do not organize, nothing else will change. Absolutely, and that's the truth. And so when people start asking you questions, you won't get on the defense, will you? Ma'am, do you know how often I have to answer that question? I bet you because you know I've seen often? it. I've already, I do I know. Degree. Okay. I do know. And, 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 and it's a shame because I don't get these questions from white people. White people know how to find out where I graduated from school. Oh, you understand? I speak at colleges. I'm the most requested African-American speaker in this country. You know what, Dr. Umar, uh, you know what I'm going to say to, to, to that when you say that white people don't ask that question. White people don't ask that question because, they, you know, actually, they really they don't care. The information. No, they do care. When I speak at a college, and I speak at more colleges than any other black scholar in this country, when I speak at colleges, they demand to see my curriculum vitae. They want to see that. Uh-huh. You know what they do? They contact from, like, from college to college. They contact the colleges I graduated from to make sure I graduated. Absolutely. And having spoken at hundreds of colleges in this country, I have yet to have one to come back and say, oh, we found out that that doctorate you claim you have, you don't have. We found out that you're not a school psychologist. Really? You really think they're going to let me in a courtroom and testify in a special ed class action lawsuit without a degree? You're so when I ask you the question, you, you, you know what? Uh, honestly, I love you. OK, I, I love your work. I love what you do. But, you know, I've gone online and I have seen. Online. That's not research. Wait that's a minute. But wait a minute. Wait a minute, Umar. Knowledge. Wait, wait, wait. Hold on for a second. Public knowledge. Hold on. on Listen. Online. When I went online, I talked to some. Uh, not talked to, but I've I've you seen. To who? who did you talk to? About wait a minute. The only expert on Umar Johnson. Umar Johnson. <laughs> who did you talk to about me? Wait a minute. Who that's why I said. Know, that's know, why I corrected myself. Questions about me. Don't I be know. trying to overtalk me, Doctor Umar. You. You said you spoke to some people's sister. Who did you talk to? Wait a minute. You I said, I corrected that. I said, I went online and I saw where there were some people of who came. Of course going to be jealousy. Of course. Why are you, why are you not letting, letting me finish? In the country and you have a larger following than anyone else. People are going to be jealous. Of course they are. We know that. Love no we know that. So but. Tell me because you saw hatred. Written about me, you automatically assume that it could be true. Really? That's the power of negativity in the black community, that anything negative said about somebody is automatically something worth following up? Really? Yes. And that is a shame. Yes. You know what and, that it, and, and that's not a shame because when a person asks you a question and you hem and haw, when a person asks a question, 
and you're him and haw. That's almost similar to... Can I ask you a question? What Ch law did you find written anywhere that says when someone graduates from college... I didn't look. credentials are published online. No, I'm asking you a question. I didn't look. Because, no, no, no. I just answered. What's the answer? I what didn't look. I say that. I did not look, Dr. O Umar. What I did do is go... Online, everybody graduates. I have enjoyed you so much. And I've enjoyed you. I really have. And I'm going to see you. I'm going to to come back on your show and talk about the. Well, we talked partly about it, but we need to know who Dr. Umar Johnson is because there's too many. Who don't know? Listen, I know who you are, but I don't know who you are. And so because of that, we are going to get you back on the show. And when I see you on December 30th, you better not turn your back. You better give me a hug. I'm going to give you a big hug. And thank you for allowing me to let people know when and where I'm going to be in Detroit. I'm very thankful to you for that. Thank you so much. I do love you, and I'll see you on December 30th. Will do, Queen. God bless. God bless.